She's the suburban teen charged in a plot to kill her own family. I woke up to uh, screaming, to screaming. But her parents say the case is anything but cut and dry. He was telling her to get a knife. He was telling her to make sure it was sharp. He was telling her where to cut. Parents of that 15-year-old Plymouth girl are speaking out and only to the local four defenders. Roxana Sikorsky is charged with attempted murder as an adult. But as her mother and father tell defender Kevin Dietz, prosecutors have got it all wrong. A 12-year-old boy has his throat slit in the middle of the night. The would-be killer, his own 15-year-old sister. Now the parents are coming forward, speaking out, saying the justice system needs to step back and look at the big picture. Roxana Sikorsky is 15, legally a juvenile. Her parents want her charged that way. But the Wayne County prosecutor is charging her as an adult, which could mean life in prison. This story begins 10 years ago, 4,000 miles away in Poland. Roxana, her brother Lucas, and sister Angelica, three adorable children living in an orphanage because their teenage mother is an alcoholic. Hey, They're hoping to be rescued through adoption by an American family. Eight times seven is what? Lorraine and Jeff Sikorsky are the husband and wife from Metro Detroit who make it happen, bringing them to a new life in Plymouth, Michigan. The next 10 years are filled with playtime and schoolwork, birthdays and vacations, three typical kids growing up happy in the suburbs. Then this summer, the dream is shattered. I woke up to uh, screaming, to screaming. So um, I, my husband was first out the door and he's yelling for me, you know, come, Lucas is cut, Lucas is cut. Tonight, the parents who opened their home and hearts to three orphan children from Poland are sharing their story in hopes of convincing the prosecutor to change her mind and charge Roxana as a child. They're angry she's been charged as an adult. Bluntly, I, I think Kim Worthy should be fired for the way her organization has handled this whole, whole ordeal. They say this horrific event happened because of Michael Rivera, who they say should have been in jail if police and prosecutors did their job. And she met this man on the internet. He had told her initially she, he was 18. So they started meeting at the local library. She kept referring to him as a tutor. Rivera was not 18. He was 23 years old, and he was allegedly having sex with their 15-year-old daughter, Roxana. It's illegal for an adult to have sex with a 15-year-old, even if it's consensual. The parents called the Plymouth Township Police and filed a report. They had a rape kit test conducted at a hospital, but an arrest never came. We followed the procedures. Uh, we thought this Rivera guy was going to be arrested in the near future, and he never was. Uh, we never got any concrete answers why he was never arrested, other than some finger pointing. Police say they pursued the case aggressively. Four months earlier, they rescued Roxana from Rivera's Southwest Detroit home after she ran away. They drove to the prosecutor's office to ask for an arrest warrant in person. They called in another request a few weeks later. The prosecutor's office says they issued and faxed over an arrest warrant three weeks before the attack. Police say it never arrived. He was caught outside of our house um, at least two times that I'm aware of by the Plymouth Township Police, but was never arrested. The parents say Rivera was outraged at them for filing rape charges. His plan, have them killed. The night Roxana cut her brother's throat, Rivera was outside the home, texting her detailed instructions. He was telling her to get a knife. He was telling her to make sure it was sharp. He was telling her where to cut. He was telling her to go for the carotid artery. And she's like, I don't even know where that is. And he texts a picture of a carotid artery, anatomy picture, like from a textbook. The plan fell apart immediately as 11-year-old Angelica woke up and screamed as she watched her 15-year-old sister cut her 12-year-old brother Lucas's neck. Mom and dad raced in. Roxana ran away. I'm a nurse, so I, um, Took him into the bathroom here and um, gave him first aid, uh, covered up with a towel, got some ice on him. Today, Roxana Sikorsky and Michael Rivera are in jail, charged with attempted murder. Lucas is back in school. He and Angelica are working with counselors. He has severe permanent scars. She refuses to be alone in the house. Yeah. See this wine, she kind the parents of... say as an adopted orphan from Poland, Roxana is less mature than your average 15-year-old. Plus, she was manipulated by a 23-year-old man. 
They aren't excusing their daughter's crime. They aren't asking for a release. They know it's not safe for her to come home. They just want Roxana charged criminally as a juvenile. We love her and I just want her to get well. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Well, the family is asking for your support, and they've set up a website to try and convince law enforcement to change their mind. Kim Worthy has issued a statement saying, and I'll read part of it, bluntly, it is rare for this office to charge a 15-year-old as an adult. However, the alleged facts in this case strongly warrant this decision.